Hi everyone, this is Cecil. Last year, when I published this video that you're looking at now, which was part of a four-part series of taking a guided snowmobile or snow coach tour into Yellowstone, I was asked by a bunch of people on social media, well, that's great going in with uh, a guide, but can you take your own snowmobile into Yellowstone? Well, for many years you were not able to. But relatively recently, the Park Service changed that. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this Yellowstone podcast. A few days ago, Yellowstone announced that the 2022-2023 Winter Lottery for permits to snowmobile in Yellowstone, snow, uh, Yellowstone without a commercial guide had started. So what does this mean? This means that people who don't want to take a guided tour into Yellowstone can take their own snowmobile in, but you have to be very, very lucky. So why don't we look at the process? Number one, go to this website, recreation.gov, recreation.gov, and in the search bar, search for Yellowstone, and the fourth one down is the one that we want, but why don't we take a look at all of them? And it brings up the various options, Yellowstone National Park, backcountry permits, fishing permit, and here it is here. Yellowstone Non-Commercially Guided Snowmobile Access Program. That's basically a long-winded way of saying this is where you can apply for a permit to take your own snowmobile into Yellowstone. It's not easy, though, to get one of these permits. Friends and I have been trying for years and none of us has got one yet. So let's look at the rules. Number one, you've got from, you've got until August the 31st to apply for this permit. The actual application process is easy enough. Just go through this page, it'll tell you what the, what the options are. One thing I do bring to your attention is that they say the north entrance is to be determined most of you probably know by now that uh, because of flooding in Yellowstone, the north entrance has been closed. And if we have a look here, it says permits for the north entrance will not be awarded during the lottery period. So please be aware of that. The National Park Service will allow one group of up to five people into the park for anywhere from one to three days for the other, from the other three entrances. This isn't very much because there's so many people who'd like to take their own snowmobile or rent a snowmobile and go in without a guide. And if somebody gets a three-day permit and they choose to use all three days, then on the second and third day, the park service will not allow anyone else to go in. So it is very, very limited and uh, they will allow only one group up to, here they say up to four non-commercially guided snowmobile, snowmobile groups can enter each day, one group per over snow entrance. So we now know that the north entrance will not be counted. So I don't know if they'll give that allocation to one of the other entrances, but it is very difficult. You'll notice as well that each group can have a maximum of five snowmobiles. There is other information that the National Park Service does have available on this, and you'll find it by clicking on the various links that you see there. One thing that you do need to be aware of is that your snowmobile has to use what's called BAT. That's Best Available Technology. So go to Google, put in Yellowstone Snowmobile BAT, Yellowstone Snowmobile BAT, and you'll notice that your snowmobile has to comply with what's called the best available technology criteria. And I'll go through that in a little more detail. The park service is kind enough to give us a list of the various sleds. That's what snowmobilers call their snowmobile, a sled. They give us a list of sleds that, comp that comply with the BAT technology requirements. And we'll notice that most of them are made by Bombardier. Further down the list, if I remember correctly, there are a couple of others. There's a Yamaha, but for the most part, they're all bomb Bombardier. The requirements are as follows. 
if we have a look, the average two-stroke sled or snowmobile gives off 150 carb hydrocarbons a day, the new ones only 15, carbon monoxide, the old ones 400, under the new BAT requirements, only 90 units of carbon monoxide. The sound emissions, not a huge difference, so 78 decibels against 67. So if you don't have a snowmobile that complies with the BAT requirements and you don't want to buy one, there is a list of local businesses at, east of the, at each of the entrances, which you can find on the National Park Service site. So at the east entrance, we see Gary Fales Outfitting. The north entrance, boy, you hope for these guys that they somehow make a plan and get the north entrance open. There are the south entrance ones. It's not surprising that most of the businesses that do rentals are, the, uh, that do rentals are at the west entrance. That's where our business is located. That's where our motel is located. Um, and you can rent a snowmobile from any of these companies that you see over here. Now, one of the things that you do have to do is take a Yellowstone snowmobile education course. It's free. You'll find the link on one of these pages over here when you look for the various requirements. Take it. It's free. It's something that you do have to do. Now, let's say that you're in a city that um, a city other than West Yellowstone and you want a snowmobile winter snow coach tour, well, that's what my company offers. If you go to usaparktours.com forward slash winter, you can see the various winter tours that we offer from so many different cities. Salt Lake is the most popular one to start, but also Jackson, Vegas, LA, and various others. And if we take a brief look at the tours to Salt Lake, you can see we've got there, what, seven different tours that you can take, fly into Salt Lake City. We'll take care of the rest. If you have any questions about this process, about uh, the best available technology snowmobiles or about how to try and pull a permit, please don't hesitate to ask. Just drop me a note in the comments section below and uh, I'd be happy to answer the question. Thank you for checking in and I really hope that you are successful in getting a permit this year.